This is Joanne Allenbaugh with Farms.com. I'm at the Farm Progress Show, and I'm talking to Mike Leach, who is a technical support representative for Syngenta. Mike, tell us what we're looking at here and some of the things that you're talking about here at the show. Well, one of the things that we're really highlighting this year at the Farm Progress Show is some of our technologies in terms of weed management to help farmers manage glyphosate resistance and the issues that are going on out there. For example, all of this giant ragweed, and maybe you can't see it on the camera, but there's some tall water hemp, all of this is glyphosate resistant. It's a population from a known field here in the state of Iowa that is resistant. And what I've got down here is two passes of touchdown, which is the Syngenta brand of glyphosate. It's not the way to go. All right, Over-reliance on glyphosate will bring this issue on. So I'm going to ask farmers, even if you don't think that you have glyphosate resistance, manage like you do, because if you don't, you will have resistance. Um, so the way to manage away from or to keep it out of your field if you don't have it or to manage it if you do is to come in with a pre-emergent soil applied herbicide that has both grass and broadleaf activity. Now in this case I've got two options. One would be a one pass, full rate, okay, you'll get season long control. You still might have a few escapes, you might have to keep the glyphosate or the touchdown in your back pocket just in case. The other option would be a two pass program where you start with a fractional rate or a foundation rate of a pre-emergent herbicide, in this case Lumax, we started with a one-third or a quart rate, and then we followed it early post-emergence with Helix GT. In this case, either case, I should say, we're, we're relying on mesotrione, the active ingredient in Callisto, to give us broadly wheat control. And that's what is going to help us manage these resistant populations. We're not relying on glyphosate. We're using other modes of action, and in the either case, we're using three additional modes of action in our herbicide. So it will help us overall keep it away, or if you've got it, it will manage it, and you can still produce a profitable crop.